I think ad blocking is probably the single most disruptive thing that's happening in our industry right now. Uh, we saw that Apple recently have announced they're shutting down the iAd ad business, so there's no uh, incentive now for Apple to keep uh, ad blocking apps out of the store. Apple's in the business of selling hardware and phones, they're not in the business of selling advertising. So in September you saw uh, the ability to block in Safari and now just recently in the last four weeks we're now starting to see apps that in the app store that will block in app uh, very effectively. So we're talking about the 320 by 50 banner, we're talking about interstitials and those kind of more uh, sort of intrusive types of formats. I think as an industry we have to, publishers have to start developing formats that are uh, in line with their content, so they're weaved into their content. So like the native S format, so the ads are kind of cleverly intertwined in content, um, but it's important that, you know, they're still going to want to, brands and agencies will still want to third party track these, these ads. So it's important that those formats are developed uh, in consultation with the agencies and, 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 and guys like us as Integrals Ad Science because we want to be able to track the native formats. Um, because that, the, that requirement won't, won't, won't be going away. I think mobile's become this kind of first class citizen now in terms of a media buy. It's, a, it's becoming more and more part of the media mix. So digital, I think it represents like 40% of all ad spend now in the, in the UK. So it's a, it, and I think what's happening is brands and advertisers, they want that transparency. They want the transparency they've been seeing in display and desktop. That they, and they just want, well, they want that across mobile as well. But there's some fundamental mechanical challenges with apps. Like, for example, when, uh, when desktop ads make a request for an ad, they send this thing called a referrer, this kind of referring URL to say, hey, I'm coming from this site, I need an ad. Now, apps don't send that. There's no uniform identifier for an app which is passed in the ad request. And that makes it difficult for, for to sort of actively block and prevent ads from serving if you don't know, you know the environment or the app name you're in. So that, that's something that we're working on uh, at the moment as Integral Ad Science. We've spent the last 18 months talking about viewability in app and there's been this misconception that well not all my ads are in view, you know, ads and apps are in view and that's not true. We have, we have pre-caching, so for example, uh, game developers who want to monetize their apps are, are playing into, are, you know, monetizing their apps through interstitials. So they'll, between levels of a game, I'll, I'll play this this uh, interstitial ad, but I want that to be snappy. So what the what the SDK does will preload or pre-cache a number of these interstitials in the background to be, you know, presented at certain times, dictated by the by the app developer. Now, what happens is, you know, you'll get a very low ratio of those ads that are loaded and rendered to what the what were actually displayed. So you have this disparity between, well. I've got this full screen ad, how could that not be in view? And I think what's happening is you've got these traditional ad servers like DFA and DCM that are just counting these, these initial requests and so you're seeing this disparity in, 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 in viewability because of, because of where the counting is happening. So that's, that's a problem. Well certainly on, on mobile we're starting to see a lot of bad actors turning up, uh, certainly from a kind of low level. You know, we have a lot of advanced fraud models in desktop and those models are being applied also to, to mobile and we're seeing some of the same signals uh, which suggest that the same bad actors that are, that are turning up in display are also turning up on mobile. Uh, there's been some recent articles about a, uh, apps that have been in a background state or apps that are just on startup are actually requesting ads uh, when they're clearly never going to be seen by a user. So, you know, they're, they're in the background. You know, you've got eight apps open on your phone, one's in the foreground, the other seven in the background. They're continuing to request ads. And that is bad, that's bad. It costs the advertiser, it, it, it charges, costs you bandwidth on your phone as well. So we're working on models to detect that. Um, we, we see, you know, we look at the, the user agent, we see the IP address, we see timestamps. We see, those are the sort of signals that we're, that we're looking at to, to, to detect fraud. So Amanda, we're today looking at reinventing customer experience over mobile. What does that mean to you? Well, for us at iX, we think about reinventing customer experiences really through the lens of design thinking. 